What's up? It's Allie Hardesty. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below. Today's video is going to be a Black Friday slash Cyber Monday haul. I'm uploading this a little bit after Black Friday. It is now Monday and I just had the time to film this because I had family here visiting and I didn't sleep after shopping all night for Black Friday. As you can tell, I bought a lot of stuff. I went a little bit crazy. I was still a little bit champagne drunk from Thanksgiving dinner. So I was kind of just buying everything I saw that I thought would possibly fit me. Didn't really try any of the clothes on. Don't even really remember what I bought. Like if we're being completely honest, that's why I am so excited to film this video. I don't normally do hauls with things that I purchase with like my own money on a regular basis. Like it's got to be pretty special. And I thought, what is the better time to do a haul than Black Friday? When no one judges you for spending copious amounts of money because everything's on sale, even though some of these things were not on sale and probably completely unnecessary to purchase, I still did and no regrets because I honestly never really go shopping other than online, but I did buy some things online for Cyber Monday that I will probably also show you guys in this haul. But without further ado, let's just get into the video. Let's start unpackaging everything and just showing you guys on camera. Let's just see because this is just as much of a surprise for me as it probably is for you. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and let me know that. Also check out my merch at AllieHardesty.shop. Follow my social media. Without further ado, let's get on into this video. So I honestly don't even remember what I bought first, like what store was first. So I don't really think it needs to be in a particular order. We're just gonna start with Zoomies, where I spent $500 on clothes. This is the store that I spent the most money on, money at, money in. And I also had been looking at the things from this store for a while, like this specific brand because it's trippy, it's really comfortable, and that's just like my style of clothing, but it's so expensive. And their sale was things were on clearance and then it was buy one get one half off. So I actually got a lot of bang for my buck. So let's just start with this bag that's ripped up because I could not carry everything. I was literally pushing things on a longboard and my brother and his girlfriend had to carry like all of my bags pretty much. So this is the first item. It says peace out. It's a size small. The brand is A Lab. That's where majority of these shirts are from. We're just gonna go through it kind of quickly because there's a lot of stuff. Ooh See like what <laughs> I like t-shirts like this like this is how I dress I'm always wearing leggings and t-shirts and I feel like you can sleep in this and you can also wear this out Like it's just a cute comfortable shirt. I forgot I got this. This is like a button-up with cherries on it I don't know what occasion I'll ever have where I'm gonna wear this but yeah I would try all of these on for you guys, but there are just way too many things. And I promise this is gonna be a long enough haul as it is. This is another t-shirt. It says, is it over yet? Don't even know what that means. I just like eyes a lot. If you didn't know, I have eyes on my merch. So check that out, AllieHardesty.shop. I just like eyes. I like tie-dye, I like blue. I like this shirt. It's another shirt that I can wear to bed or I can just wear out because that's pretty much how I dress. I don't remember getting these either. Um, these are pants, I think, like pajama pants. They were just on clearance, so I grabbed them. Wow, this is a ripoff. These were $32. That's on clearance, but I think they're they're Adidas, so that means it's a really good brand. I'm not kidding when I say that I was not looking at the prices. I was just like, okay, it has a clearance tag. Like, I didn't buy anything from the store full price, and on top of that, it was half off, like buy one, get one half off, but that honestly still is so expensive, and I kind of regret buying these because I don't even know if they're cute. Please don't judge me, you guys. Like, I literally never spend money like this. This is the one day of the entire year that I I just go ham and I might have gone a little bit too ham giving the fact that I wasn't sober This is no bad days. It's purple. It's a fun color See this one was $9.99 and it's buy one get one half off So this is like five bucks So it kind of evens out for the things that I purchased that were crazy crazy expensive So I'll probably never spend this much money never spend this much money ever again in my life Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? This says, I don't even know what that says. Watch this. I think I just liked it because it's a tank top, but it's a high tank top. I like tank tops that don't show a lot of cleavage because they're just really comfortable. And then if it's a hot day, if you're sweating, no one can even tell because you don't have sleeves or anything. And yeah, see, this was another $9.99 shirt. This next shirt, they all kind of look the same now that I'm realizing this. It says, your lucky color is dead. Okay. I still like everything I bought. I just kind of wish I would have got more of a variety maybe from other stores because this is where I got most of the shirts, I think. This is, I think, a dress, which I love. I love blue, I love tie-dye, if you couldn't tell. This was like 18 bucks. This is another blue shirt, it's kind of tie-dye. It's a little bit different, it doesn't have aliens on it or anything. And then, ooh, this is cute! This is so cute. It has a rose on it, it says good vibes on the back. This is probably one of my favorites, and just out of curiosity. Okay, it was $18.99. Okay, this one says broken prom. 
Thomas is. I really love fishnet stuff and I like how it's kind of like a guy's like casual like v-neck ish looking shirt. I think this was a girl's shirt but it might not have been. So yeah. Again these are all from Zoomies. And then I think this is the last one in this bag and it says downloading fuels or yeah downloading fuels. That's what it says and it looks like that. It's blue. Pretty much anything that's blue I don't care what it says I'm gonna buy it. Now let's move on to the second bag. Okay, I bought these socks. There was a bin when I was checking out and it had beanies and socks and a whole bunch of stuff So I bought a few random items. I also bought these socks I have a couple that I wore to 420 on a hippie hill in San Francisco Literally only wore them for that picture and I'll probably only ever wear these if I ever go again These were like 12 bucks kind of still a ripoff. These were like eight, but you get like three pairs So that's kind of a better deal especially because it's adidas and these normally are probably like at least 20 bucks I got another shirt basic maroon color. I like maroon. That's definitely one of my favorite colors to wear if I can't wear blue. It's this. Oh, I bought a bunch of sweatshirts. This says too fast for love and it has like the racer thing on the side. I need to clean out my closet because I literally still have sweatshirts from middle school because I pretty much have stayed around the same size. So I'm going to be donating a lot of my stuff to charity or putting it on Poshmark. So that's why I bought a lot of new stuff. I'm like justifying this so hard because I feel so guilty for literally spending this much money. But that's why I have to make it into a video. I remember when I was checking out, the line was so long and it took I think three or four more employees to ring me up in this specific store so I was just walking around and like adding more things while I was waiting and I pretty much just grabbed anything that was like a small medium or large if I thought it looked like it could fit me this says I spend most nights at home falling in love with the idea of you I like flowers a lot on shirts I think this is actually cute like this is actually kind of a look let's see how much it was it was $22 but it had a second clearance tag over it so it got marked down twice this one says goodbye bad vibes I as you can see, that's kind of a theme for this haul. With everything I bought, it pretty much says something like that on it. Low key. So it's like the opposite of Emma Chamberlain's clothing line, right? High key. Check her out. But this says low key. Now, ooh, I don't even know if I like this, honestly. I remember I was asking the lady in the store if she liked the sweatshirt over another one, and she liked this one more, but I liked the other one more, so I think I got both of them. But this was the one that I showed her that she picked. It's kind of cute. I just don't really wear yellow that much, but I've noticed when I've shot with a lot of photographers, they, like, love yellow. Like, they're obsessed with it, and it's kind of cute. I like it. I like how it's cropped. I think this was the other one I was comparing it to. This is red, and it has navy and yellow on it, and this was $32. See, there are shirts that are this much and sweatshirts. It's kind of weird. You would think that sweatshirts would be more expensive, but low-key everything was kind of expensive. Not even that good of a deal, but I did get some better deals later on in this haul. This is another shirt. It's ripped up. It says broken. More flowers on it. This is the brand Broken Promises. Okay, wow. Yeah, I know a lot of it was from that Alien brand. Like this one, yeah, A-Lab. See, it says, come through, we have Wi-Fi. And I thought this was really funny because I have friends who are in a DJ group called Wi-Fi, but they spell it W-Y-F-Y. -Y. And then this one is this smiley face. It's so soft, which is why I got it. And it says, thanks for coming, but not really because I don't like you. Okay, well, I didn't even read that till just now. It's kind of rude. I don't know. I feel like whenever there are letters or words or phrases or whatever on a shirt, it's always kind of corny. At least it's not as bad as Forever 21 and some of their stuff. This says, whatever, whatever. But again, it's like a tie-dye comfy thing, which I live for. I like the high sort of tank tops. And then I think this is the last thing I got from that store, at least in this bag. It says, baby girl, baby girl, baby girl. <laughs> I don't even think I read that when I bought this, nor did I realize they spelled girl with a U. But it's still cute. I actually really like this one. I like white a lot because I'm so pale. So yeah, that's all for Zoomies. This next store, ooh, I can't remember the name of this store. Let me see on the receipt. Is there a receipt? We'll figure it out. Basically, it's the store in the mall that has notebooks and stuff. I bought this wrapping paper. So I can wrap people's Christmas presents and it has llamas on it, unicorns on it. I just thought it was so, so cute. This was five bucks, so don't regret buying that. I also bought this. It's a rainbow pillow. It's super glittery. I don't know how much it was. This might have been full price. This might have been $25, but it's really cute. And a lot of the pillows that I have in my bed and stuff, I love pillows. I have them everywhere. I have them on this couch and on my other couch and in my room. Some of them are like falling apart and this is like a really nice one. So I was like, okay, I'll splurge a little. I'll buy this pillow. It'll look cute in my room. And then I got these two water bottles. I think this one was $10. This one was $20. They were on sale and I actually had been wanting to purchase one of these so I could keep my water cold. I don't know if these keep it hot too. I know they keep them cold. I just know that they're better than like the regular containers I use because 
can like trap heat or coldness, I think. I don't know. That's what I thought. So that's why I bought them. If not, then I kind of got scammed. I got three pens because I love the pens. Oh, this place is called Typo? Yeah, it's called Typo, I think. That's what the store's called. It's in the Irvine Spectrum. I got the yellow one because I didn't own a yellow one. I got this reddish pinkish color because I didn't own that color. And then I got another black one. So now I have one of every color and two of the black one. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Then, also from the store, I got, these were also full price. And this added up. Like, when I was checking out of the store, my total was, I think, 180 for everything. And I was like, damn. But I thought that included this suitcase. I was going to get a matching suitcase set for no reason. I already own one. But I was like, oh, it's so cute and it's on sale. And it was like $100. And then they forgot to ring it up. So I didn't buy it. And I was still going to buy it. And then everyone was like, dude, you literally cannot carry anything else. Like, you need to chill. So I didn't buy it. Plus, I already spent like $200 there. So this is the first thing I got. I think these were $30 each. It's a makeup bag. But I travel a lot. And in my mind, I was also thinking like I could put pens and things like that in there because I journal a lot and I like to have a notebook and stuff like that on me. And this will just fit a lot because I have a lot of little makeup bags from Ipsy, but I don't have a lot of big ones. And even when I use bigger ones, they're not usually as big as this. So I end up using multiple and it's just super counterproductive to like storing everything when traveling. So I got this. I thought it was a really cute design. And then I also got this one which says goddess. It's kind of like a nighttime one. And so that's when I was like, okay, I'll put pens and stuff in this and I'll put makeup in that. And I will definitely use the crap out of these things. So I don't really care that they were full price. This is the receipt for this. Yeah, I spent 185 and 82 cents. And if you guys don't believe me from Zippy, I will read that off. I spent <laughs> an unhealthy amount. Oh my gosh. $492.51. And then this is the last thing I got from Typo. It's a bathrobe. This was also full price, but it's so freaking cute. And I have two bathrobes already, but I use them all the time. And one is like kind of see-through and not like that soft. And the other one is really soft. And it's really big on me. So this is kind of like combining the two together in one. It's my favorite color. I love that it has like little heart glitter things on it and it's plush and it's my size. So yeah, I bought that. Probably gonna have a spa day soon and just like lay around in this all day. I freaking love not ever wearing clothes. So now, oh, I actually forgot. I also got these two notebooks from that store. See, this is why I love this store. Like, it's so great. This is the first one. It says 50% goals, 50% dreams, and then it has, like, little pockets inside where you can store things like that. Like, I love these notebooks. And then this one says grand schemes and master plans, and it's the same thing. Just different design on it. Okay, now let's actually move on to the next store. Let's do some shoes because they were having a sale. It was, like, 40% off until a certain time, which was, like, in 20 minutes. So I literally just started trying on everything. I think I had 30 minutes. But I felt so rushed because I was in there with all of my other bags having to keep an eye on them I ended up getting sizes eight eight and a half and nine because I'm always kind of like in that realm Just so I could check out and get the deal. So this first pair are these black sandals. They're so cute They smell like brand new shoes and then this next pair. I think I got boots here, too Yeah, these are the boots. I got these high knee boots that are black I bought some last year that I was actually wearing that night that were tan and I used to have black ones like this But I got rid of them. I love high knee boots I feel like you can just wear a big t-shirt or like a t-shirt dress and it's a look because you have boots on like that So yeah, I really liked this pair of boots and I think at this store I spent a little bit over a hundred It wasn't that bad because as you can see all the orange bags I got a lot of shoes this next pair is I think the same as the black sandals but just in a different color well they're a little bit different they also have the bedazzled 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 they're also bedazzled I love that I can't talk they're cute they look like this they're different. And then, pretty sure this is another pair of boots. They are leather boots. They kind of look like cowgirl boots. They're actually so stylish. Like, they're the kind of boots you could wear with jeans and it wouldn't be weird just because of the material. So, I like those a lot. Hopefully, I'll get a chance to wear all these pretty often. I don't leave my house much, but, you know. I think this is the last pair of shoes I got from there. I got all of these shoes for, like, $100. It's not that bad. Especially because these are really good quality shoes. Like, I know because I've shopped there before. And the shoes that I got from there, I wear all the freaking time. This is a pair of combat boots. And when you fold them down, they have, like, this really cute design. And they're furry inside. Like, high quality stuff. And they zip in the back. I'm pretty sure that you can, like... I swear if the zipper is freaking broken, I'll be so pissed. I'm pretty sure you can style them differently because they have little buckles there and stuff. So I'll definitely try to play around with that. And this was all from the store Reflection, shopreflection.com. What? what did I buy here? Oh my God, this was the first thing I bought. This is from Garage. I got two pairs of pajama shorts and they're a size medium. I think they're gonna be a little bit big because usually in shorts I run small, but I'm hoping that they'll shrink, but I don't think that they're 100% cotton. Yeah, they're not cotton at all. They're spandex and polyester. So we'll see, but I don't really 
care when I'm sleeping. Like, I just like to be comfortable. As you can tell, I bought a lot of comfy kind of clothes, and these were $10 each. This one says 10, this one says 15, but I think it was buy one, get one half off or something. I got them for pretty cheap. It wasn't bad. Actually, let me just check the receipt. Yeah, it was only $16 for both. I'm so excited because now that I'm finally doing this haul, I can actually put everything away too and organize it. This is, oh, we actually have another pair of shoes from Reflection, and they are brown sandals. Basically, I got the same shoe in every color. That's kind of what happened. I'm excited though. And then, what the heck? I don't even remember buying this. I bought other notebooks too? What? Are these even mine? I'm so confused. I bought the same notebook twice, I guess. And then, this is probably my brother's. I can't really tell, but these aren't mine. So I either accidentally stole someone's or that's probably my brother's because he forgot something else too. Everything was just shoved in this closet up until filming this video. So, last but not least, I went to Hot Topic and all of their shirts were $10 each, which at the time I remember thinking was like a really good deal, but I don't even know if that was that good of a deal. But I mean, the deals weren't really that popping this year, so I did the best that I could. I believe I bought four shirts at $10 each, so with tax and everything, it was like 43 bucks. These are the shirts I got. I honestly don't remember at all. This says, proud to be myself. It's like a, I support the LGBT community shirt, I guess. Ooh, I got this shirt. It's Stitch. It's so big. I think I bought it big on purpose so I can wear it to bed. If you don't know, I can do the stitch for us like this. Oh, Hannah means family. Family means no one gets left behind or forgotten. So that's like kind of why I bought this shirt. Oh yeah, I got another shirt like that. It says love is love. And then last but not least, I got a crusty crab t-shirt. And this one looks like it's more fitted. It's not like a t-shirt t-shirt. So I'll probably wear this one more like out and about. I like the color obviously because it's that turquoise kind of blue. I like when shirts have stuff in the back too. So it's a little bit less boring. So that's basically everything I bought for Black Friday. I don't know if you guys want to see what I bought from Cyber Monday. A lot of it's not here yet, but a couple things just arrived. So I'm gonna go grab the packages. So these are the two things that came in the mail today. One is from Amazon, one is from Target. I don't remember what I ordered. I kind of do, but I don't know if all of it showed up or what. I just honestly kind of had to buy a lot of miscellaneous items and I do a lot of shopping with Amazon Pride. Pride, Amazon Pride, Amazon Prime and Target.com. Okay, yeah, I got like toothpaste. None of this was even on sale, but I think there might've been like one thing, so let me check. Oh my God, I forgot. I bought this dish set. They're is this considered plastic? I don't know. It's like a plastic yet dish kind of feel and they're marble and I'm getting this like foam stuff everywhere, but it came with like dishes and like everything and I thought they were so cute. I'm really, really lazy when it comes to doing the dishes. So I like to have a lot of spare dishes on hand. That's pretty much what's in this box. I ordered other stuff, but it didn't come yet. doesn't really matter. And then I don't want to like put this all over my stuff. I have no room. I know what this is, but we need to. Oops. So I'm pretty sure that this is a Christmas tree because I tried to buy one when we went to Target in real life on Black Friday and the only one they had that I wanted was the display and they wouldn't let me buy the display and I was so mad because it was on sale and everything but then I went to the website and it actually ended up being even cheaper online. I'll be so happy if this is it. Oh my god it's not even it. It's literally toilet paper that I ordered. As you can tell, I don't get out much. I literally order everything to the house. Like, I'm not even kidding. Okay, so that was my Black Friday Cyber Monday haul. I also got laundry detergent. That tree will probably be coming soon. I probably won't do another haul like this because everything else I got was kind of boring and I just told you. Yeah. Oops. Ow. Why did I say ow? I'm just scared it's gonna scratch the couch, so I said ow for the couch. Anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please give me a big thumbs up and leave a comment letting me know whatever you thought was your favorite that I got. And if you're gonna go get any of this for yourself now, or if you're just gonna save your money and not completely wreck your bank account like I did, subscribe if you're new. Follow my social media. Check out my merch at AllieHardesty.shop. It is now 10% off through December 10th if you use code Allie at checkout. And I will see you guys in the next video. Later, alligators. Bye.